Hi, this is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how to share photos and keep them as your own using Dropbox. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call me now at 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session with you so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Hi and welcome to another special screencast. This time we're talking about well, a few things, but namely what I'm getting at ultimately is how you can share your photos on Dropbox in a special photo album feature that they've had since day one, but I don't think a lot of people know about it. But first, where this is coming from, where this is coming from is that yesterday, and I'm recording this December 18th, 2012, and yesterday the news sort of broke, and uh, my friend Heidi in my Nerd Social Network and Tech Help group on Facebook uh, posted this article wanting to know my thoughts, and anyone else's for that matter, uh, about what this article has to say, which is that Instagram, the popular photo sharing app, uh, has announced that effective January 16th, their new policy is going to be that they can sell your photographs and they don't have to compensate you anything or even notify you if they've done it. And then it goes on to explain that, you know, Facebook is owned by, or Instagram rather, is owned by Facebook. So no shock there, now everything makes sense because this is typical Facebook, right? Just completely going against what basic common sense tells people about my privacy rights and what in the world makes them think that it's okay to take my work or your work, your photos that you've taken and just sell them and, and claim that they don't have to compensate you anything for it. Now you've signed away that right effectively by signing up for your Facebook account which once again I think these kinds of policies uh, really should have people questioning whether or not they want to hang around on Facebook. I mentioned in the blog post that goes with this video that I really do hope I see the day when there's a complete migration away from Facebook kind of like what happened on MySpace when Facebook came out uh, because of these kinds of things. I of course maintain my Facebook account because I have to because that's where everybody that I know is. Uh, again I'm hoping to see the day where that changes or see the day when Facebook wakes up and realizes that there's a lot they could do to actually enlist faith on the part of its users and loyalty rather than completely destroy it every time they do something like this and they've done it so often so just Facebook Facebook makes me sick I'm only on there because I absolutely have to be if I felt I had any choice about it based on the business that I'm in and what I do and how I've succeeded in business I would not be on Facebook it, it's not it's, it's not I'm not there by choice I'm, I'm there because I have to be basically is what that really boils down to so let's take a look because when I got this news when I saw the article I said to myself well let me see I have to January 16th so maybe I can delete my photos now as you can see here I have no reason to be terribly concerned about people buying my photos but I have friends who do I have a good friend who on her way home from work every day takes the most beautiful photos and shares I believe many of them through Instagram right over to a Facebook page that she's reserved for solely for this purpose sharing these photos that she takes and some of them are gorgeous some of them are photos that people might actually want to buy and I think it's so wrong that Facebook is abusing the fact that it made you sign away these rights so that it can take this stuff capitalize off of it and basically tell you sorry screw you we're not paying you anything for it you know and by contrast it would be so smart I think of Facebook to say hey you know what we'd like to have the option to sell your photos that you've shared through Instagram we'd like to pay you for that guess what that would do that would actually get people excited and they'd probably want to go take more photos contributing more content to it in hopes that their stuff does get sold Instead, what they do is they completely d deteriorate the relationship that they have with their users every time they pull some crap like this. And that's what this is. It's crap. So when I went in here, I said, you know, just out of curiosity and for the sake of my friends and for the sake of doing a video like this, um, is there a way to delete the photos? I go in here and sure enough, there's no option. There's no such option to delete the photo. If you right click on the photo, you're just going to get the standard browser options. Um, you know, I've got my comments here. I can favorite this. Uh, you know, so there's nothing I can do really uh, that I can see here to remove the photo. So I said, all right, let's let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's go over here to my account. Now, the only thing where it could possibly be, the only place I should say where it could possibly be is here where it says edit profile, right? It's not, I was just viewing the profile. We found out it's not there. It's, it's got nothing to do with badges and it's certainly logging out won't help. 
So if I go to edit profile, I'm thinking maybe there's a place where I can, you know, manage my photos and, and delete things, but there's no such thing. I can manage applications that are connected to Instagram. I can edit my profile, change my password. I can, uh, you know, I guess uh, do things with, you know, set up a badge for my Instagram account, uh, which I certainly won't do now, or I can log out. So there's no way here to do this. Now, incidentally, I also checked the phone app to see if I could do it there because I thought, okay, well, you know, maybe if it's not here, maybe it's still on the phone app. So let's take a look there. Where are you, Instagram? I don't have it in my shortcuts because I actually don't use it that often and I certainly don't plan to now. Uh, there you are. So if I bring up Instagram on my phone and I'm just going to wait till I can pull up one of my photos from it. So I go to my account and I pull up my photos. Okay, again, very similar options here to what we just saw on the web. Nothing that enables me to delete the photo. So I'm going to uh, put my finger on it, you know, tap it for a second to see if I get options like I sometimes do with these apps. Nothing of the kind. Now, let me actually go to, you know, my photos because that was sort of from my feed. Um, actually, it looks like that's where I was. So again, there's, you know, there's no options here. I can explore here. I can take another photo, which I'm certainly not going to do. Um, I can see who's following me and who I'm following and that's about it folks so there's no way to delete your photos so even if you want to opt out of this at least to the extent of the pictures you've taken so far you've got no option to do so you you have effectively signed over your your rights your you signed your life away in terms of the photos you've taken over to Instagram no way to uh, you know protect yourself here so unfortunately if you've got any photos in there here's what I would do I would create an infograph and upload it to my Instagram account with big text and some kind of sarcastic message through the imagery and with a caption that says don't buy these from Instagram or Facebook you can get them from me for free put that caption on your photo in Instagram so that if somebody's somehow browsing yours and there's an option to buy your photo hopefully they'll see that and then give them a link or somewhere where they can get information about where to go to buy the photo directly from you. That's what I would do if I had pictures on Instagram that I was actually concerned about this. Of course, you know, the caveat to all of this is that if you don't care, then you don't care, then go ahead and continue using Instagram. But based on this information, I'm not going to use Instagram anymore because as you can see here, while the photos I have on Instagram are not that serious, I do, as a hobby, like to go out with my wife, who's a much better photographer than I am, and we like to take pictures. So we went to this place, Descanso Gardens. Now, here's another way to share photos where, where the photos will remain your own, and that works really well, is put them in your blog. Go to your WordPress blog. I'm using a plugin here called Syncopa. That's C-I-N-C-O-P-A. And you can easily install that plugin into your WordPress blog. And then you upload your photos to Syncopa. And Syncopa gives you a great platform where you have many options in terms of how you can share those photos. And here's an example of just one, you know, where you can go through. And there's my lovely wife. And, you know, this way you can share photos in a similar manner to what you're doing on Facebook. Post a link to the blog post on Facebook because you're not putting your pictures into Facebook that way. So they have no rights to them. And then people can come over to your blog post and they can comment and let you know how wonderful they are and so on and so forth. So that's how I would solve this problem. I would certainly stop using Instagram, again, with the caveat, if you are at all concerned about what they're doing with your photos. Now... The real alternative to this, I think, the real compelling alternative, besides the blog, if you're just interested in sharing your photos and letting people have a look, then use Dropbox. Dropbox has a feature here where basically what I've done here is I took a recent trip to Florida. And Dropbox, when you, when you install the app on your computer, automatically puts a folder in your Dropbox folder called Photos. And what you do is within that you create folders. Each folder becomes a photo album. And so what I did here was uh, I created, here's Florida, December 2012. These are pictures I just took from a recent trip that I took to visit my parents. And then once you created that folder and confirmed that all the photos have synced, which you can do with the little green check mark, then all you have to do is right click here and go to the Dropbox menu and choose Share Link. 
and it takes you to a, a web page here where there's options for how you want to share it, including integration with Facebook. Again, I would avoid that. I have my Dropbox account integrated with Facebook, but I wouldn't do that. You can add names or emails so it'll send a message directly to people, or just copy the link to this page. And that what that does is it puts the link on the clipboard so that what I can then do is I'm going to use an instance of a browser that doesn't have me logged into Dropbox and I'm gonna paste that link in that way you can see this is exactly what it looks like to somebody who say doesn't even have Dropbox so that you don't have to worry about them having Dropbox and you can still share the photos with them and this is how it comes out in fact somehow Dropbox was able to determine that some of my pictures were sideways I haven't had a chance to go through these pictures and sort of adjust them yet but Dropbox did it for me now and again since I haven't edited these I don't even know how well some of these came out if they're blurry but I'll give you a quick view when you click on one it goes into the photo gallery where you can just click and go through now again the downside to this is there's no place for people to comment on these photos so if you want that then you know again I take you back to using the blog platform this way everything is truly your own use a wordpress.org blog platform where you have your own hosted wordpress blog post your photos there then take the link and you can post the link over on Facebook so that people can actually you know so you can get people from Facebook to your photos without giving up the rights to those photos to Facebook if that makes sense. As always, please post your comments below. On top, subscribe to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the blog, follow us on Twitter, do whatever you need to do to keep getting information like this from us, from us if that's what you're interested in. And if you've been watching this long, I'm assuming you are. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.